Hello everyone, my name is Said. Today I will be talking about design and evaluation of a CIMAR array for transcranial ultrasound system. Transcranial focused ultrasound in combination with microbubbles holds a great potential for targeted drug delivery in the brain. As the technology advances to clinical studies, requirement for highly sensitive and broadband detection of microbubble emission to ensure safe and effective procedure is becoming more demanding. Moreover, the blood brain barrier opening requires a large hemispherical array, multiple frequencies for excitation and detection, reaching a sufficient pressure level on the targeted region, and spatially monitoring microbubble emission. The piezoelectric transducers are most widely used technique in blood brain barrier opening. This technology has a challenging fabrication process, especially in 2D array forms. Moreover, the fixed frequency range of piezo transducers limit the treatment envelope. And it was previously proposed that the multiple concentric transducers can be used simultaneously in blood brain barrier opening. To overcome mentioned difficulties, we are working on a new SIMA array design. To explain SIMA technology briefly, it has vibrating membranes, include conductive electrodes. Due to their dimensions, they are fabricated in standard semiconductor processing. As you can see, figure bottom, depending on operating frequency, they have hundreds of micrometer diameter membranes and a micrometer level electrostatic gap sizes. One of the biggest advantages of this technology, they can be operated broadband frequency with low noise reception feature. Moreover, easy integration with electronics makes CMOS more functional. When we, com we can compare the differences between piezoelectric transducer and CMOS technology in this table. Whereas the piezoelectric transducers have limited bandwidth, acceptable received sensitivity, and fixed frequency response, the CMOS has a larger frequency range of operation, and hence receive sensitivity and tunable frequency response. Moreover, the fabrication process of CMAR overcome the challenging electronic integration and suppress the noise sources relating external long cables. It has also demonstrated CMAR has sufficient output pressure for imaging and therapeutic applications. To test capabilities of CMAR for passive acoustic imaging in transcranial applications, the experiment diagram on the left is performed. In this experiment, initially, the piezo transducer aligned the phantom tube with pulse circuit measurements. After CMAT array was inserted to water tank and its natural focus covered the food pan tube phantom, then hydrophone was placed to the setup. Finally, the skull sample from the periodal region, which has around 8 mm thickness, placed in front of the CMAT array. The water and microbubbles were circulated through tube phantom. In this setup, piezoelectric transducer was used as a transmitter and the CMAT was used as a receiver and it has a bias 50 volt. The received signal was amplified by 20 dB and recorded by oscilloscope. Also, the experiment setup photo can be seen the picture right. The results of the water and microbubble experiments are given in this slide. While the torque harmonics couldn't capture in low pr pressure excitation on the left figures, it is demonstrated the torque harmonic contents were prominent at 400 kilopascal excitation in microbubble circulation. This analysis of data received by CMAT array showed that passive acoustic mapping can be performed presence of human skull and can be tracked in real time. The next question we are trying to answer in this study, if we can replace piezoelectric transducers by CIMA. We have previously showed that we can obtain around 100 kPa negative peak pressure with a single CIMA array. To achieve sufficient high pressure level with multiple CIMA arrays for microbubble excitation, we performed sets of acoustic simulation. The design of six CIMA arrays shown in the bottom figure left. The, that design has 50 millimeter focal distance. The attained pressure profile is shown in the figure middle. The pressure level in the focal region is demonstrated the figure bottom right corner. It is shown that we can obtain over 300 kilopascal peak negative pressure 
with an orientation of 6 sigma arrays. The simulated transistor array designed the simulated transistor array design later transferred to 3D CAD software, and it was manufactured with a resin printer. Then CMAT arrays with electronic boards were placed to printed CMAT housing. The water filled structure with hydrophone setup is given figure left. The hydrophone measurements results are given the figure right. The figure top left shows the pressure beam profile at 500 kilohertz. And the figure below shows the pressure time signal, which has a good agreement with the simulation studies. Furthermore, the pressure profile at one megahertz with the same CMAT arrays is demonstrated in the figure top. The figure bottom right shows the pressure time signal at one megahertz. In this study, we demonstrated CMAT technology can be used for passive acoustic mapping. The preliminary data shows we can utilize CMAT arrays for microbubble excitation. Furthermore, with applied higher bias voltage, we can operate CMAT in collapse mode, which means higher frequency operation. This mode can be used for skull imaging. For future work, full microbubble excitation and detection experiments with the six CMAT arrays will be performed. And electronic integration with CMAT arrays will be investigated in details. This is the end of my presentation. Thank you for listening. And this time I would like to take questions.